Well, let's turn our attention to weather now and take a live look at our tower cam at Mitchell International Airport. We are slowly warming up. You know, I didn't wear a coat to work today. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking spring, Brian Goddard. <laughs> and this, and the, I'll tell you, the sun on a dark colored suit felt pretty good. And those 10 steps from your car to the door, I'm sure you didn't get too cold. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's actually not that, I mean, it's cold outside, but the sun's feeling great, as he was mentioning. The winds are much lighter, and that makes a huge difference. The, just cutting that wind out, and uh, wind chills are still in the teens, but it's not that, that just harsh wind that we've been dealing with the past couple of days. This high pressure system, going to be our friend the next couple of days, going to keep us dry, going to keep us sunny. Winds will be lighter, a slow, and I mean very slow, warm up, and it'll keep all the storm systems to our south. To the graphics, we'll go and we'll show you that today. It's chilly, but that sun feels great, especially on Steve's dark coat and mine as well. Uh, you can see on Friday, more the same, more chill, thanks in part to the northerly winds. But that storm off to the west starts to strengthen as it rolls out of the Rockies. And because of the high pressure system, it's going to take a nosedive to the deep south and then gradually turn into the Ohio Valley. We will get clipped by this Sunday and Monday with flurries to some sprinkles to maybe very, very light snow uh, Sunday night. And we're talking an inch, maybe of accumulation. The bulk of this storm stays to the south. Once again, we're looking outside at the airport. You know, we're actually melting some snow despite it being so cold. That sun uh, has the power this time of year to get rid of the snow, especially on your driveways. Nothing to even deal with it. 29 degrees is the current temperature. Northwesterly wind is at 10. It's 30 in Racine, so we're running about uh, 8 to 10 degrees warmer than we were this time yesterday. And the wind being so much lighter makes a huge factor as well. 25 in Beaver Dam, 27 in Whitewater. We're in the teens for wind chills and the lower 20s in some locations. Overnight tonight, single digits to teens once again. The wind will be northwesterly at 5 to 10. Plenty of clear sky, a lot of stars out there, a bright moon. It'll be 5, though, in Fond du Lac with a wind chill of around 0. 15 in Racine with a wind chill of around 8 above. Friday's highs right back into the lower 30s. Hey, we're getting close to that freezing mark. We're going to get there. We're going to jump over that for Saturday and Sunday, but we're still really no 40s anywhere in sight. Normal high now is about 43 to 44 degrees. So we'll stay quiet. Thanks in part to high pressure. There goes that low pressure system to the south. It really organizes down there, seeing some heavy rains, and then it'll turn into Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. And right in here, central Illinois to Columbus, Ohio, we'll see the heaviest of snow for Sunday and into Monday. We will be clipped by this system. Just some very light snow or flurries, maybe even mixing with a little bit of rain as temps will be above freezing, and a severe weather outbreak along the Gulf Coast and the Deep South. For tonight, Clear and cold, 13 degrees, wind chills in the single digits. Tomorrow, 32. The sun still out, feeling great. Steve will probably wear shorts tomorrow with it being 32. Just a little bit warmer. Northwesterly wind at 5 to 10. Oof, put some sunscreen on those babies. Uh, your high pressure system sticks around through Saturday. Then that storm system clips us on Sunday and Monday. There's two 40s on the seven day. But okay. as I've been saying the last couple of days, I keep teasing you saying, okay, it's going to be Wednesday. Nope, now it's going to be Thursday. There's hope. <laughs> All right.